Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to my uh, food forest journey. So, it's time for another little update. And, um, you know, today's video, I want to basically focus all of my uh, attention to the rare Chibote Kaba. I haven't spoken much about the rare Chibote Kaba yet, um, but I do want to, you know, kind of show off some of the uh, stuff that I've been growing. Now, some of these... Chibote Kaba, I've been growing from seed, guys, for uh, about two. Some of them are two years old, one year old, and six months. But, you know, before we get into the rare Chibote Kaba, um, I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of update as to what's going on in around the uh, backyard, the food forest. So, to start off with, guys... I'll give you guys the bad news first. I always start off with the bad news first. This is the only pepper that I've grown out for this year. I mean, it's pretty sad. Last year, it was like, it was so easy last year for me to grow peppers. But for some reason, you know, this year was just, it was really bad for the pepper. Um, so, yeah, these are the only two so far. This one is ready to be picked. These are the sweet kind. Um, they're not hot or spicy at all. And then uh, I'll move on to the good news, guys. So this was um, mainly like a test trial. But look at this, guys. Look at the size. This is going to get a lot bigger. Um, this, these are winged beans. I love these. And then what else? Uh, I think there was one more around here. Yeah, there we go. These are winged beans, so yeah, definitely a success. So moving forward, I'm gonna start growing out a lot more winged beans, since they uh, they seem to really like my soil. We're gonna move on over here. Give you guys a little bit of an update on the uh, page at Hamoya. That's my hand right there, so that you guys can get a little comparison. It does seem to get a lot bigger once you uh, clip it off right here, like I did last time. Now, I, I am running into a little issue with this, guys. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to, the camera will be able to pick it up. But this plant right here is being under a, attack right now by black ants. Um, if you guys know of any trick to get rid of them, just let me know because right now I'm a little bit worried. There's no damage on them yet, but I mean, I just don't like the black ants crawling all over them. And I don't want to use any chemical, any means. So if you have any natural way of getting rid of them, let me know. That's my 8-year-old Chibote Kaba. We're not going to focus much on that guy because I bought that guy as um, as a fully grown tree. And over here, this one is a three-year-old Sabra. Not going to focus on this one as well since um, I bought it as a, you know, I didn't buy it as a seedling. So, a little bit more update. Over here, guys, this is the uh, Kohala, and under the Kohala Longan, I'm hoping this will show up. I'm gonna have to use my other hand. Let me see. Hoping you guys can see that. I'm not sure if this was the yellow watermelon or if it's a cantaloupe, but there it is, guys. There's a couple more down here as well. Cannot wait for them to get a little bit bigger. How cool is that? That's another Sabra, guys. In a container. This was not grown from seed, neither. This is, uh, I bought the tree. 
And then down here I have more Korean melon. Over there, those are pumpkins under the um, mango. That's the Mount Dora variety right there that I just put in. And then over here, that is the Seminole banana that I got from a trade recently. And then guys, look at this. That's the Subo white sapote. It is officially taller than me. I'm thinking it's around, I don't know, 5'9", five 5'10 five now. So yeah, it's officially taller than me, guys. Moving on over to this area. The grapevines are finally picking up, guys. They are finally pushing out more growth now. I was stressed out a little bit from the last video, but yeah, it's finally pushing out growth now. I did get one new variety. This was a trade as well. Uh, this is called, let me see, Southern Home. This is a hybrid of uh, muscadine and table grape. I love the leaf on this one. Very unique. More winged beans. Look at this. Yeah. I'm probably gonna keep some of uh, these pot and then uh, let them uh, just grow out and collect the seed so I can grow more. But yeah, um, let's get into our main topic, guys, for this video. I want to show you guys my Jabodi Kaba collection. And this is it right here, guys. This is my Jabodi Kaba collection right over here. I'm going to go over it with you guys one by one. Alright, so these guys are all red right here. This is a red. This is a red Chibodi Kaba. That's another red Chibodi Kaba. These are all one year old. Okay, those are uh, one year old. Now, a lot of people say that it takes around, you know, three years for them to fruit if it's a red Chibodi Kaba, but you're looking around maybe four to five years average if you want to get them to fruit. So I'm waiting very patiently for them to uh, get bigger. And as for this guy right over here, this is a Filtranta, Branca White, Chibodicaba. This guy is um, two years old. In the Fotrenta family, look at the leaves. It is not like any other Jabodi Kaba leaf. It is humongous. Yeah. You notice the uh, peeling of the bark. And then next to it, this is a. Um, this does not belong to the same family, but it's called. False Chibodi Kaba, sometimes also known as um, Blue Chibodi Kaba. Um, the scientific name is uh, Missiera Vexator. So it's not in the Plinia family like the other Chibodi Kaba. This guy is also two years old. And then I have my uh, Grimo. Put my hand in there for a little size comparison. This guy's uh, two years old right here, and then I have um, the, the the other twin, also a Grimo, Chibodi Kaba. So both of these guys are two years old right over here. The fruit from uh, the Grimo is pretty big, so 
I've been taking a lot of clipping guys from these guys and trying to graft it onto other Sabra rootstock and down here this is also another red Chiboricaba this one is also a red I think this one is a one-year-old this one's a one-year-old as well but somehow this one is just a lot bigger this one has more vigorous growth to it this is the Branca and I, I believe this is um, I lost the label guys to be honest with you um, I'm not sure if this is a Branca Vino of Otto Anderson or Branca Mel or Branca Lisa I, I, I just know that it's a Branca um, as far as um, what for what specific variety it is that I don't know but it is two years old though that's why I haven't um, you know grafted anything with this yet because uh, I'm, I'm just not sure what variety it is then back there you just have more red more red more red this one is a Sabra um, now the unique thing about this Sabra right here guys is that I started grafting this is my first very first graft right here that I attempted this is um, some of the scion are uh, from the eight-year-old Sabra um, that I got so I, I started practicing how to graft using the eight-year-old um, eight-year-old scion and grafted onto this rootstock right here which is only one year old hopefully it'll get you know quicker fruit fruit this way and then uh, what else can I show you guys that one this one right here specifically is a Branca Vino of Otto Anderson right here so this one is um, I believe it's uh, should be eight months I think yeah eight months that's just another red and then over here I have more Missiera Vexitor, Blue Chibodi Caba. And then uh, down here, this one is a uh, it's also a Missiera, but this one is uh, Missiera Glazoviana. So this one is a it's also referred to as the um, yellow Chibodi Caba. This variety is called the Cabela something, the Cruz. Um, from what I read when I ordered the seed, this seed is basically it's six months old now. Um, it's uh, it's supposed to be the largest um, Glazoviana variety out there. And then up here, guys, this is the Plinia inflata. Now, if you don't know what this is, um, this is basically in the same family as the Chiboricaba. It's just that the fruit is yellow and um, the fruit is yellow and it, it, it's also known as the big or the huge mochi. It's very large. It's a very big fruit, guys. So I cannot wait to see what this will look like when it, once it grows out. This one is also only six months old. Over here, I have a um, Hashtenga belonging to the Coronata family or subfamily, subspecies. I'm not good with the scientific name, guys. So, <laughs> but this one is, um, yeah, it should be one year old now. This is the Hashtenga. This one is also another cor corona, um, Coronata. I was gonna say Corona, but. <laughs> Yeah, this is the uh, Valpreso. This one is uh, only six months old. Then over here, this is a Filtrantha Costate Chaboticaba, only six months old. ESALQ, these two are ESALQ right here. And then down here, I have a uh, Plinia Yasuni. 
Now this one um, is a very unique Chiboticaba guys. Um, most of the Chiboticaba they tend to fruit from the trunk of the tree. But from what I read, this Yasuni right here, this gives the fruit off right off the stem. So it's going to be very unique to see this thing grow out. Then I have a Branca Mel. And then this one is a Plinia Nana. I don't know much about this one. Yeah guys, so that basically kind of completes my uh, collection of the Chiboticaba or the Plinia and Miss uh, Missiera. And I think I'm going to end it off, um, you guys, with this uh, unique tree right over here. Now, this is my own personal work right here. Um, I've basically used the uh, one-year-old Sabra rootstock. And I started grafting like a bunch of random Chiboticaba on here. Now, as you can see, this is a Futranta that I grafted on, that successfully took. This one is the Bronca White. I got the Scion from that tree right there, guys. That one right there. I took it and I grafted on to over here. Um, and then I grafted some more Grimmel. These are Grimmel right here. I graft one with success. Second one that took, this one did not take. So I'm going to have to get rid of this one pretty soon. So that's two different um, Chiboticaba on a single rootstock right there. And then I've also attempted um, to graph a red Chiboticaba up here. Now it did took this red Chiboticaba right here. It did took up top. But I made the mistake of um, grafting it all the way up here, guys. Um, as we all know, the Jaboti Kaba will give off the fruit off of the trunk right here. So when you graft it all the way at the top right here, I mean, later on down the road, you're not going to get a lot of fruit out of it. So that was my mistake. You know, learn from my lesson. Don't graft it at the very top. Try to graft it like at the bottom somewhere down here. That way when it start growing out, it's going to be able to give you more fruit. But yeah, um, that's all I have for all of my uh, Chiboti Kaba. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.